This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. $800,000 budgeted for relocating the borders at Princess Margaret Hospital. This coming from Minister of Social Services and Urban Development, Frankie Campbell. During a virtual press conference held yesterday afternoon, Minister Campbell stated that his ministry and the Ministry of Health were working together to tackle the problem of borders, taking up much needed space in PMH. A border is classified as homeless patients who have been treated and discharged but have nowhere to go because no family family members have come for them. In a combined initiative, the Ministry of Social Services and Urban Development and the Ministry of Health worked in tandem to relocate the borders from the Princess Margaret Hospital to senior residential facilities. This joint effort is budgeted to cost approximately $800,000 in the first year for care and needs of the residents. The relocation of the borders creates much needed space for critical care. When asked what the plan was moving forward for the borders, Minister Campbell had this to say. If the children and loved ones of those borders would find it in their heart to pay back what I'm sure those borders would have extended to them in their formative years, Without going into detail, I'm sure, without fear of honest contradiction, that a high percentage of those borders have family members who I hope are listening to me right now, and I hope will be touched that they will go and find a way to work with us to either reduce the expense, or those who have a greater means take over the responsibility of caring for mommy and daddy and uncle who would have once cared for them. Early last month, Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis reported that there were 33 boarders residing at PMH and costing the hospital $491 per day or $6 million per year. Some of the boarders were reportedly at PMH for years. Mr. Campbell contends that the $800,000 is a relative expense when compared to the $6 million per year that's costing taxpayers. There's a slight increase in family violence in the Bahamian home, and this accounts for pre-COVID times and during COVID-19 lockdowns. This coming from Minister Campbell, who spoke to the challenges the Department of Gender and Family Affairs faced since the onset of the pandemic. The Department of Gender and Family Affairs noted that the emergency orders curfew COVID-19 recovery experiences prevented various challenges to the productivity of life and well-being in the Bahamas and in countries across the world. In response to queries, complaints and requests for assistance regarding challenges of increased violence, family feuds, depression, anxiety, loneliness, fear, and generally a need for help the Department of Gender and Family Affairs, in conjunction with the University of the Bahamas, conducted an online survey to ascertain the safety, well-being of families during the COVID curfews and lockdown experiences. Minister Campbell says the Department of Gender and Family Affairs continue to work with NGO partners to monitor the violence. He adds that the department, along with government, the civil society partners and affiliates, hosted vir various virtual training seminars, workshops and town hall meetings to address some of the COVID-19 challenges. Themes and topics included psychological well-being and support, impact of COVID-19 on men, women, and families in the Bahamas, the role and response of non-governmental organizations during COVID-19, non-governmental organizations' guidelines to apply for grants and international funding, how to strengthen business during COVID-19, the role of the church during COVID-19, social assistance for support for families during COVID-19, dealing with the stigma of contracting COVID-19, and the role of men 
in the family. A multi-stakeholder intersectorial council also provides training advice and guidance for families. The council is represented by several entities and departments, including the Ministry of Health, Ministry of Education, the University of the Bahamas, and the Royal Bahamas Police Force. In crime news, police here in the capital investigating another homicide after a man managing a convenience store on Miami Street was shot dead last night. Preliminary reports indicate that sometime around 7 p.m., police received calls that a male was shot on Miami Street. Officers responded and on their arrival at the Grace of God convenience store, they were informed that a lone gunman entered the establishment and demanded cash. A struggle ensued between a male manager and the assailant. This resulted in the manager being shot in the head. The victim was transported to hospital via a private vehicle, where he later succumbed to his injuries. Investigations continue into this matter. Stay with us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.